good morning and happy Vlognica night seven. I keep wanting to show you on my hands, but it's not enough. Seven. <laughs> Vlognica night seven. It's the second to last night of Hanukkah and I'm a little bit sad it's almost over so we definitely have to do the most we can to make the rest of the nights count while we have them. It's always so bittersweet when Hanukkah <laughs> ends especially when it's earlier in the year like as compared to Christmas because then the rest of the world is like still gearing up for their celebrations and celebrating and I'm like oh, it's over already. Um, but we are gonna enjoy the last two nights. I snuck away to the dining room where it's a little bit quieter because the boys are just getting ready, finishing breakfast, and um, about to do the whole school run. Actually, I have a meeting this morning, so I look a little more put together than you've seen me the last few days. Um, so I have that, and it's a little bit of a crazy morning, but we're gonna get it all done, and then we're gonna come back and enjoy the seventh night of Hanukkah. Okay, I am back. It is already the middle of the day. Um, had a great meeting this morning and I think we're all ready to go for this evening, which is pretty exciting at this time of the day. Everything in the house is clean, I think. I'm like <laughs> scared I'll go into a room and see a disaster, but I think we're okay. Um, I made a little hot cocoa station bar. Um, I got these cute polar bears from Trader Joe's. They're kind of like a hot cocoa bomb. You put them in and it melts. But I like I don't want to give each kid a whole one. I think they're quite big. So what I might do is melt them all <laughs> in the pot of milk. Isn't that weird? <laughs> That's my plan. And then <laughs> some peeps, snowmen, got gelt, um, sprinkles. And then I got this hot cocoa because it looked fancy. Silly cow. <laughs> I've never had it before. It just looked fancy. Um, and then, oh, and I just did a grocery online order for whipped cream and a few other things we needed. But I was like, oh, might as well add whipped cream to that list. Um, and then I'm going to be making jelly donuts at home, which I know sounds crazy, but it's actually super easy. I have a hack. It's in my... Hanukkah cookbook. This is a digital download. If you've been following my channel, you know all about it. And I just had it printed at FedEx.com, I think. Um, but one of the recipes, let me see, I think it's at the back. Oh yeah, simple homemade donuts. This one. Um, it's a hack to make sufganiyot using, are you ready for it? Pillsbury pizza crust. What? So it's actually super easy, but I will be frying oil and melting hot chocolate tonight. <laughs> but I'll be fine. Um, oh, and then of course some presents and we've got the candles and that's it. I'm telling the boys or I'm reminding them, I've told them, but I'm reminding them that it's book night tonight. I wanted to chat with you guys a little bit about this. So last night was coloring book night I guess you could call it but I had told them in the morning and and I reminded them before we opened presents that we were just gonna get little presents tonight and I think that that was a key factor in them being super excited about the coloring books and them loving them and then as you saw they like spent the evening coloring it was great but if I hadn't like said anything to them I'm sure they would have been a little disappointed or wondering if there was more because of course as a kid like they don't understand money or anything like that but like they don't understand um why one night there would be all these huge amazing presents that they've been wishing for and then the next night they would get dollar <laughs> target dollar spot coloring books but because i said to them tonight is just you know a small present night i think it helps them be more appreciative and just like set their expectations so i think it's like it's not really i, I hear a lot of parents complaining about hanukkah how you know every night they're like what's the present where's the present because of course the first night or two they get these like huge presents so that's their expectation of what the nights of hanukkah are going to be um and even if you remind them at the beginning of holiday especially if they're young i think it helps to remind them <laughs> each day or even right before you give the presents you know what that night's presents are going to be and then i usually save like a 
more exciting present for the last night that way in case they are a little bit disappointed um, then i remind them like you know the last night is when we get another big present or you know something like that um but they were so excited for the dollar spot coloring books so that was great <laughs> um they've also been really appreciative this year they've said thank you a lot and i noticed like in previous years they didn't as much and i just think it's you know a little bit of them getting older and learning more but it reminded me like in past years i've been like oh i wish they would like you know show me more appreciation or say thank you without being you know reminded to do so but sometimes it just takes time and growth and all that anyways <laughs> i think i hear the little one waking up from his nap which means it's time to go get the bigger boys and then start the celebrations. I'm so excited for my friend to come over tonight. I don't know how much I'll be actually able to film of that, but I'll try and sneak in what I can. Jeez. I should have said light <laughs> Okay, it's the end of the night. We had such a nice seventh night of Hanukkah. I know I didn't film too, too much while my friend was here, but it was so lovely. The jelly donuts were delicious. So easy. You guys have to, have to try them out. They're so easy. I want to warn you, though. They fry in less than 30 seconds like so so quick <laughs> if you're making them they will burn super easy 30 seconds in and out you're done but it's nice because it's a super quick hack of a recipe um the hot cocoa was really good <laughs> um we wanted to put baileys in it but i didn't have any and i found this at the wine store have you guys seen these before buzz balls anyways it was um kind of like baileys i would say <laughs> Um, it made quite the mess doing that here on the stove shop. Um, mostly because my four year old wanted to put the polar bears in and I you know, didn't think it through. So he like threw it in and the milk exploded. But it was fine. Um, but yeah, it was all good. We just ordered pizza again. <laughs> um, I hope you guys aren't judging my lack of cooking this Hanukkah holiday. Sometimes it's just like that. Um, sometimes I, well, you guys know I love to cook, of course, um, but to cook, you need to, you know, be home for an amount of time and do all the cleanup. And when guests come over, um, or family or friends or anyone, I want to be present with them and I don't want to be stressed about, you know, cooking stuff and cleaning up. And because Hanukkah's like during the week and I've got, you know, the boys and then Andrew comes right down after work. It's like, it's just a little different than like, you know, other <laughs> times. That's just an excuse. I'm sorry. <laughs> we ordered pizza. I'm sorry. But I did make the donuts. And it was so lovely. Okay, come back tomorrow night for the eighth and final night of Hanukkah. Big gifts. The whole menorah lit up. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait to see you then. I realized in the chaos of the party last night that I didn't show you guys what the kids got for Hanukkah, I don't think. Uh, so let me show you right now. It was book night, book night in America, and not actually in America, just in our house. <laughs> um, book night in our house. So they got, Max got Big Nate books. He loves Big Nate, right? Hold on a minute. He loves Big Nate books, and we got that set um, from Costco. They had a whole set, and thankfully he didn't have any of those before, right? Nope. And then he oh. stepped on my tablet. Some of them were on my tablet. Oh, I thought so. But he forgot most of the parts, so it's good. And then my lovely special friend brought them three books. What do you do with an idea? Who's friend Rachel? What do you do with a chance? Who is, I think I know about what do you do with a problem and what do you do with and no, but no, you're, but no you know no. more than me. So yeah, so I'm so thankful for those books. And then anyway, where's Corey's book? Mom, oh, Corey's book is in here too. Somehow all, they all ended up in mom, Max's room. Oh, but yep. did you did you give throw away the book Casey? Casey, yet, did you? No, it's in the trash though. Why? But because I needed to keep track of the books. Oh, 
So, okay, then the other book, um, Corey's book is this Marvel Encyclopedia. He really likes superheroes. We have one big superhero book that he loves to look through. And this has got like a ton of colorful pictures. So I thought he would love that. And then Zachary got a set of Dr. Seuss books. Where did those end up? Oh, I think those are in Corey's room. <laughs> um, bedtime was a little wild last night. Uh, are they in here? Oh yeah, they're in Corey's bed. It's so, so funny, everyone. Everyone took each other's books. Um, so just the classics. One fish, two fish. Green eggs and ham. Cat in the hat. Hop on pop. And fox in socks. Um, we love Dr. Seuss books. And we actually didn't have some of those classics. We had like, I don't know, other ones. So anyway, so those were, book night was a great success. They were so excited.